Much more now on that developing story we've been following since this morning. That deadly crash between a car and the Metro Rail train coming southbound happened just after 7.30 this morning where the train tracks crossed a private driveway just north of Oak Creek Drive that's in between Howard and Kramer stations. KXN's Kate Wanda has been live, all seen, live on the scene all morning. And Kate, what's the very latest? Well, Robert, I can tell you that this is the first time there's ever been a fatal accident involving a Metro Rail, and in just the last few minutes, that train as well as the car it hit uh, have both left the scene. But I want to show you how this all happened. You'd see that private driveway. That is where the car was coming out this morning around 7:30, and the Metro Rail came along, hitting it on the driver's side area. It pushed it several feet down the tracks before coming to a stop. Now, officials tell us that inside the car was a 32-year-old man and two young boys. We talked to a, uh, his roommate, actually, who said he was a single dad, and those were his two sons. He was taking them to school this morning. Now, EMS performed CPR on the man here at the scene, but he later died. The two boys were taken to Dell Children's Medical Center with minor injuries, and we are told they are expected to be okay. Now, at the time of the crash, there were 128 passengers on board, and none were hurt, although one woman was treated for an unrelated medical problem. CAT Metro officials tell us that the train are not required to honk their horns when they approach these private driveways. They actually pass by 13 every single day. One neighbor said that she really thought this was all bound to happen because the electric trains are so quiet. We talked to an Army specialist who was on his way to Camp Mabry this morning when he saw the accident. He pulled his car over and helped get the kids out. Well, the first child, he kind of smithered out myself and I picked him up and took him off to the side. Um, the second child, I didn't know he was in there until the other guys came on the scene. They were saying there's another child in there, and we began hearing them scream. Uh, they broke the back window, and by then I just grabbed the door handle. I thought he said it was jammed, and I just pulled it open, and three other guys went in there and cut it out, cut them out, cut the seatbelt off and stuff, and got them out. Now, all morning long, as a result of this accident, uh, Metro Rail uh, suspended part of its service because of the train crash. But now that the train is gone, they tell us that it's supposed to get back to normal, especially for rush hour. All the trains should be running on schedule. As for those 128 passengers this morning, they were taken by bus to their final destination. Now, while this is the first fatal accident involving a Metro Rail, this is not the first time there's ever been an accident. Last year, there were two just involving some minor injuries. Of course, we'll keep you posted on any changes. And our, of course, our Josh Hinkle and Aaron Cargill will have more on this tonight at 5 and 6 o'clock. We're live in North Austin. Kate Wadaw, KXAN News. Okay, Kate, thank you.